Foolish customers on Hardcore Pawn. Hey! What's up, sweetie pie? Let me need to take a look at this. I got like three kids. You understand? You have three kids? You know, this guy seemed like he needs the money. I'll see what I can do for him. Five thousand. That's all I want. Were you told that they were diamonds? They're not diamonds. But listen, though, you're Shot. a pretty young woman. Y'all know you can give me my 5000 The following customer enters the pawn shop trying to get money for a necklace he had. The customer had six kids and desperately needed funds, but his item was fake, and that's when he acted a fool. I can't give you anything. Stop hitting on me. That's not gonna, like, entice me to buy your fake jewelry. I sent your husband. You gave me my 5000 right now. We start our own pawn shop. It's not possible. Yeah, it make perfect sense. Have a good day. You have a nice... We lucky she pretty. Your pants are falling all the way down. Girl. Lucky you sex. I'm to a hero. That's all about me. This customer started to hit on Ashley in a desperate attempt to get the money. Ashley is a happily married woman and wasn't interested in the slightest. The customer even wanted Ashley to leave the shop and join him. Earring fool. How you doing? Um, I was trying to sell these earrings that my granddad had and got me what? This? Try it. Say I'm a uh, vulgar. What is vulgar? It's like this. Wow! Holy man. He's very flimsy. The following customer enters the store dancing all over the place, looking to get money for some earrings. It turns out that this guy is a performer and showed off some of his impressive moves to Ashley and Bobby J. So, I'm trying to sell these earrings. $500 isn't going to happen, though. It will. This isn't real. OK, y'all going to have to go back there and get my Gucci Gucci. I need you to do a little Let more. Let me go to International. Oh, work sick. You sick it down, girl. Work out. Because and then I want you to flip your ass out the, out the door. Go. Split. Right. The customer had extremely high expectations for his item, but when Bobby J took a look at it, he was able to tell that it was a fake. When Bobby J told the customer, he couldn't believe it and started to insult Ashley to her face. Give it to me in my hand, girl. Thank you. Don't Let's come go. to this place. Come on. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. Everybody, okay? Just everybody. Vogue it out. I look better than you anyway. Bitch. Stop coming in here. Before the customer leaves, he makes sure to put on a show for the staff and show off some of his other moves. Parking lot fool. All right, thanks. The f is that? Hey, Les, there's a guy putting flyers on cars saying we buy cars. Right now, if a person is advertising in my parking lot, that means I condone his business. He's a regular customer. He comes in all the time. Here, here. Are you trying to get business off my customers? Rich was out in the parking lot when he noticed a bunch of flyers on the cars that were promoting another business. Les wasn't going to let this slide and instantly went out to confront this fool face to face. Putting flyers on their car? Yeah. No, I didn't ask nobody. So why are you doing it? I think I asked you one time. You told when me to was put this. I I'd let you put it. this sign on the building. We would never allow it. I said you couldn't do it in the parking lot. Yeah. So why are you doing it in the parking lot? I've been now. coming down there man fooling with you for 20 years. I believe you. I don't know your name. This customer had no shame and flat out admitted that he was trying to the shop's loyal customers, which was just insane. He had no permission to do this and knew that it wasn't allowed. I have no idea what he was thinking. Back up to your and get the off our parking lot. Get all the flyers off the cars. Let me help you out. Trying to steal my customers. That ain't gonna fly. Les wasn't going to let any of this madness fly. Bail out. What's going on? I'm all right. I got an Xbox. I know you get a lot of Xbox. And my girlfriend um, got locked up. They said she was soliciting prostitution. She's a really good girl. I love her. Yeah, she dances, you know. Right. I got to get her out of the county. I can go 80 bucks. I need 300 bucks so I can get my baby out of that f***ing county, dude. 300 bucks, miss f you. Everyone. The following customer enters the pawn shop looking to get as much money as possible for his Xbox. His girlfriend recently got locked up and needed the money in order to bail her out. Les gave the customer an offer he didn't like. It was really time for him to go. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Yeah, you have a nice day. This ass lucky. I'm under doctor's orders. Walk down to eight mile with a Xbox in my hand. Have a nice day. The customer took things too far when he put his hand all over Les's face. Fool's chicken. Ain't my got me up. What is this? Do you see a raw chicken in here? Can I eat that? This don't work. I'm sad, how are you? I just paid $50. I need my money. Where's your receipt? I don't have. Even if we did sell in this unit, which we clearly didn't, I'm not going to take this thing back. What up, though? Bro, where the owner at, man? You're talking I don't know why I'm talking to you, man. Where the owner? The following customer wastes no time causing a scene and shows Les a microwave that literally had a raw chicken inside of it. The customer was looking to get a refund, but he didn't have a receipt, and Seth wasn't in the mood. I'm going to get my mother money, bro. No, you're not. Then there's going to be some problems there's in here. There's not going to be any problems, and that's your ass about to get tossed off. Eat your chicken. Oh. And you better keep your mother 
hands off me. I know you want some chicken. I fight. I'm gonna keep this. My mother chicken. You know what? This customer was just insufferable, and it didn't take long for the security to kick him out of the shop. This customer, for some reason, decided to take out the raw chicken from the microwave, which was quite funny. Put this bitch on the grill. And now you can have that. And I'm about to still go barbecue and eat good. Cock a doodle doo, mother. <laughs> this has got to be one of the most foolish customers to be featured on the show, old lady. Hi. I'm good. How about yourself? A ring I want you to take a look at for okay. me. They're not diamonds. That's cubic zirconium and silver. Bought it at a jewelry store. I know where I bought it. Look at the inside of the ring. And CZ means that it's not diamonds. What are you saying it's worth? It's not worth anything? I'm not interested. The following customer enters the shop looking to get money for a ring she had. The customer claims that the ring had diamonds, but Les was quickly able to disprove that, and that's when the customer got disrespectful. It's not worth anything? I'm not interested. I'm telling you, I can't give you any money for it. I know it has value. Have a nice day, man. I'm not, I'm not leaving until you come to your senses, old man. I just came to my senses. Get in your car. Don't talk to me like that. Okay, I won't. Hey, hey, you? hey, touch me. Les respectfully told the customer that he wasn't interested in making a deal for the ring, and she started insulting Les. Security saw this whole thing go down and escorted the woman out of the shop for her loud antics. You're an idiot! Yeah, what a gentleman you are! This woman should be at home. She shouldn't be in the store. Woman, what? Get me out of here! Get away! Why would I not give her money if it was worth it? She hit me for a hard time. This woman wanted all the smoke and even swung her purse at Byron. She started screaming at the top of her lungs, which was quite funny to watch. Gambling fool. Hi. Hi, I'm Les. AJ. AJ. I'm going to my son's wedding tomorrow. I need you to buy this from me. You know Beautiful as you do right now. Thank you, that is so kind. I find you sexiest man. Thank you for the compliment, but it's not gonna get you anywhere. The following couple enters the pawn shop in urgent need of funds. The woman just lost all her money gambling and needed funds for her son's birthday. The woman then started to flirt with Les, which accomplished nothing. He's getting a little more curly in the back. How much would you like to give me for my camera? Let me see. That does take a good picture, doesn't it? I really don't want to buy it. Um, what I can do is I can give you a $40 loan. Why do you want to upset me? $50, do you want a $50 loan? Give me a little more. Because I could never sell it for more. Okay. Well, I'm not going to go away quiet. This customer was just desperate, and when Les took a look at her camera, he knew it wasn't worth much and offered the customer a $40 loan. Les tried to help out this customer, but there was no way he would be able to sell the camera. I can have my my valet escort you out. And I'm not leaving. First impression I get, Mr. Magoo and drag. My son is getting married tomorrow. I need money because he's been married once before. Mm -hmm. Why do it twice? My valet escort you around. Where do you want to go first? To calm her down. Oh, hey, the, okay, then here, yeah. The customer said she wasn't going to leave unless she got the amount she wanted. Les wasn't having it and got the security to step in. Les got the security to walk her around the shop so that she can cool down from before. They walk over to the jewelry case. And that one is how much? Thousand dollars, tell them. I'm lowballing them. We ended up negotiating for a ring. I'll be even happier. I'll give you a thousand. Show me the money. The true blue mother honey. One thousand dollars, I'll give you cash. Not a problem. As far as my camera, forget it. Yeah, I don't compromise. I don't get it. I thought she had no money. This has got to be one of the most confusing people to enter the pound shop. After the security showed her around a bit, she all of a sudden started asking to purchase a ring. In the end, she purchased a ring from the shop. Tantrum fool. Hi. I'm trying to pawn my necklace. Some little hater ass bitch bust out my windows in my car. That's why I'm trying to pawn this necklace. I paid 400 for them. Hmm. Why you say that? What were you told that it was? Diamonds. They're not. Real diamonds, boo. You ain't gonna help me out? I just told you I had a pissed off day. The following customer was looking to pawn her necklace after someone broke into her car and stole some of her items. The customer was already in a very bad mood and she got furious when Ashley told her the item was fake. Bitch, this bust out my mother windows. That you ain't gonna give me $200? You're coming in here with an attitude. I don't give a if you keep playing with me, I won't get real mad. It's but a recession. Is this is a recession out but here, okay? Is you something listening? real? Are you, you listening to me? I got some young 
that'll come in the hood, tear this bitch up. Are you? What are you gonna do? Is, I is wanna... that the security guard? This is fake. It's not, boo. <laughs> Cause you gotta have holes in the back of it, boo. The customer started to yell at Ashley, demanding for her to give her an absurd amount of money. The customer took things too far when she made serious threats towards Ashley and the shop, and things got extremely hectic fast. But this lady took it to the next level. Can I have your ass with a you bitch? Get the out of here. About this security guard. You ain't gonna give me my necklace. Here you go. You ain't. Cut? Don't touch me. I'll catch you outside, you dirty bitch. Beat your tall, gumpy ass up. I should have her ass up. Bitch, I got kids, ho. This customer wanted all of the smoke and started to yell at everyone in the pawn shop. She started saying the most vile and cruel insults at Ashley, which was a big mistake as the security was able to humble her and kick her out. Grandma tantrum. Hi, how you doing today? Anything catches your eye that you want me to pull out? Okay. Where the hell is my phone? There was never a phone on the showcase. I ain't crazy. Yeah, but I just laid my phone down. You better get on it because I. The following customer was looking to get a nice watch for their son, which was quite wholesome. This deal seemed to be going well until the customer couldn't find her phone and accused another customer of stealing it. That's my damn phone. You, you have got to get out. Yo, my <laughs> yo, yo, better get this. I'm out of here, yo. Nobody don't got time for this. Yo, get this old ass lady you out. Give my what's your problem? Oh, oh my for God. Heaven's sake. This customer wasn't in the right headspace, as she never even pulled out her phone in the shop. The two customers started to go at it, and Karen wasn't going to tolerate this type of behavior. The two customers took it outside. That little hooker walk away with my phone. And watch how you use that cane. Shut the hell up. Where in that? Have a nice day, sweetheart. This old woman wanted all of the smoke and was arguing with literally everyone. Plumber's gold. Hi. How are you? Trade my plumbing items. This is a... Uh... Torch, okay? Flashlight. So how much you need? Wherever the cost of that ring is right there. It's okay. white gold, $5,000. This man is at American Jewelry and Loan, looking to trade a few plumbing items. As he takes Ashley through the items, she's a little confused. Five thousand. I have probably a thousand and... You know... That is an explosion-proof flashlight. You're, you're a woman, you don't know. The man can't believe what he's just heard. And Ashley can't believe that he thinks all of his plumbing junk is worth thousands of dollars. Do you insult women? Sometimes I do. Really? Are you married? Yes. Yeah. Someone else that can help no, me? I'm... it's me. Come on. Yeah. Your plumbing, it's not worth the amount of money that's gonna pay for this ring. I do know. Do you know what these are? No, you don't. You're a woman. I'm here to trade. I'm not. You know what? This is a lot of money. But as the conversation goes on, this man seems to get more and more sexist. And while Les is letting Ashley handle this, he's watching it all go down from the sidelines. And it's safe to say that he's pissed off. Thank you. You're a Have a good day. I hope your toilet backs up. Working. Blah, blah, blah. But you know what? Ashley lost the deal because she let her emotions take over. Keep your emotions out of it. At the end of the day, Ashley has this man kicked out of the store. He continues to hurl insults at her. Greener grass. Oh, brother, I'm trying to find my uh, snowblower. Get it fired up for me? But I'm not seeing it work right now, so I can't resell this to somebody. Well, it worked, though. I used it. Bobby steps out of the store to talk to this customer who's here to sell a lawnmower. He needs to see if the thing works. It's not running. Still, it's not running. You might have broken it. I might have broken it? Yeah. I mean, you want to talk to a manager or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah, man. Some bull I want to pawn this to us or sell it. And while the machine clearly isn't running, the man continues to argue with Bobby. It's not starting. You're gonna get it. You're gonna take it. No, I don't think so. For what? Why are you getting all hostile, brother? It takes a professional pawnbroker to be able to deal with you. Give me what I won't get. Want a bet? At this point, Bobby knows that he just doesn't want to deal with this idiot. So he takes him to Les, who's ready to help the man out. Push it right out. I'm not pushing out. Get the hell out of here. So I came up with nothing? Man, Come in demanding, take it and leave. Things start to heat up between Les and this crazy man. Les is definitely not giving in. Abracadabra. I'm a magician and I've got some magic prop. A card selecting jumbo elephant. Look at it, show it to everybody. It's very easy to work. Just push it down, it'll select a card. Nope. Can't do this guy is talking to Les, Seth, and Ashley at the pawn shop, and he's really excited about showing them this magic trick. Called Turkish turmoil. So for my birthday, I got to see a magician. What's Alicia Dad, take for this thing? 
You're for real. But I can come over to your guy's house. How about 50 bucks for both? I'm sorry. Oh, 70. So happy. We're gonna own an elephant and a tin can. But hey, this magician has a lot of tricks up his sleeve. He's brought a huge collection of items to pawn, and while Seth and Ashley aren't interested at all, Les seems to be on another tangent. 70 bucks. Please say no. I'm sorry, though. No. Thank you so much. 75. 80 bucks. Oh my God. Les offers the man a deal and he refuses to take it. Ring, ring. Hello, how are Hi, you? How are you? Yeah. Let me get my ring out. You lost this ring to Pond. It's a $6,000 ring. That's my grandmother's ring. I brought it in here last month. You brought it four months ago. Give me my mother ring. This lady is at the store, looking to get her ring out of pawn. Unfortunately, the employee at the counter lets her know that she's lost it to pawn. And let me see a manager in this bitch. Last. Y'all got me up. I would like my grandmother's ring. Once you exceed the time limit, my grandmother's well, there is a time limit. I'm sorry, but when that happens, we need to sell your item. That's the way this business works. When she realizes that she's not getting her ring, the lady starts creating a ruckus, demanding to see a manager because she's not leaving the shop without getting her ring back. Three you months. got me up. And why am I talking to you behind this glass? Your ass normally out here. You out cold. Okay, yes I would like my grandmother's ring. Questions to ask, I want my mother ring. She starts taking her anger out on Les, asking him to come talk to her face to face. She starts losing her mind. He's I want my, my, He's my, my You better be lucky I can't beat your mother ass. Beat your mother ass. All the acting flew. Grab my ring. But it's the first time I really had to kick somebody out the pie shop. Thankfully, security is right there to handle this crazy woman when she starts acting up and trying to physically attack Les. And that's the final straw, Hothead. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, I'm Seth. Norm. Yes, I want to sell this barbecue. You're gonna barbecue this the uh, best. I cook shish kebab. I'm gonna be nice, just uh, $500. This man is at the pawn shop, wheeling in a weird combination of items on a trolley. How much did you pay for them? I think uh, like $1,000. Really? This guy was completely full of it. I knew he was trying to get over on us. This is how I get it. Really? There's really? nothing wrong with it. Where'd you find it? The dumpster? Those speakers Garbage. are blown. What is going on? And everyone's bringing in a piece of shit. Seth and Ashley are super confused talking to this man, and when he starts demanding a crazy price for his items, Seth knows that it's time to teach him a lesson. I don't know how we're gonna come up with 500. You joke with me? $500 give me? 500, you're not gonna be nice? you gonna do about it. Listen, scared. you're Stop not gonna scare me. Like now, Seth and Ashley make it very clear that they're not interested in pursuing this deal because they don't think these items are worth $5, let alone $500. What are you yeah. gonna do? What are you gonna do? My $500, I come here for it. Take your yeah, beaten ass speakers and beaten ass helmet. What you gonna do, I said? What are you? Get are you, are you gonna kiss me, man? I'll be back. Go back inside. 